Chicago has had enough, demands grow for Rahm Emanuel to step down by Amy Moreno for truthfeednews.com. Enough is enough, the liberal mayor of Chicago has been placing the needs of illegals and refugees above American citizens for far too long. While Americans uh, die in the streets in the most gun-controlled city of the United States, Ra uh, Mayor Rahm Emanuel is busy finding ways to funnel tax dollars to illegals. Well, the jig is up, and now activists are demanding Emanuel step down. Let's take a quick listen here. It's one of America's biggest liberal cities and we're sticking with the same city, is making a push for basic universal income. Debt-plagued Chicago, now proposing to give 500 bucks a month to 1,000 families, no questions asked. But is this good motivation, or just encouraging people to live off the system? Here now to debate that is Fox News political analyst Gianno Caldwell and Democratic strategist Rochelle Ritchie, both from Chicago. So both great opinions this morning. We'd love to have you guys here, and we appreciate your time. Gianna, we're going to start with you. You say this is typical big government, Democrat, welfare. Here's your 500 a month. Don't worry about a thing. Just vote for me, right? Well, what our views know is I'm from Chicago. I lived in, I grew up in poverty in Chicago and certainly got involved in politics in Chicago. A plan like this doesn't reach as much support when it comes to the aldermen, the city council members there without the mayor. The mayor has a very low approval rating. Is it about 30, 30 plus percent? Um, and the election is coming up. So to me, I see this as a bond vote to $500 uh, a pop. Mm -hmm. And this is something that obviously that's very targeted to the African-American community. In 2016, there was a study showing that 70% of African-Americans didn't earn a living wage and 60% of uh, Latinos didn't earn a living wage. So this is, I think, a total smack in the face to folks who actually need help by way of programs that can benefit them in job training, et cetera, so they can earn a living wage uh, versus be handed $500, which gets you nowhere. Rochelle, basically. your response? Well, honestly, you know, the people that look like Gianno and I, we are, we are not the face of the welfare system. White working class Americans make up 44% of those welfare recipients. So I'm not surprised that, you know, Gianno, who is a Republican, would not support a welfare program, even though he benefited from himself benefited from himself but um, you know the Democrats have to be really really smart about this because if you start having this sort of universal base income program Republicans could use this as an opportunity to slash other programs, other welfare programs such as Section 8, child care assistance, uh, and what else do we have, food stamps. So they could cut these things in order to offset the cost because right now we're spending billions of dollars in welfare and according to the Center on Budget and Priorities and Policy, we could actually be spending trillions of dollars when it comes to uh, universal based income. So, you know, I get it, you know, times are tough, times are hard hard, but I do agree with Gianna that I'm not sure $500 is really the way to go. We need to be putting people in a position in which they have a lifetime of success, which leads to generational wealth and stability and not short-term gains and long-term dependency. Well, let's talk about this as an idea in general, because if you go, if you talk to some of these, there's a few tech billionaires that think this is a good idea. Elon Musk, one of them, who says in the future it's going to be necessary for, to have a universal basic income because artificial intelligence is going to take all of our jobs or a great majority of our jobs. Gianna, what do you think about that comment? Well, well first, let me respond to Rochelle because I thought she was sure. coming on with her coffee talking points, not her happy hour talking points. <laughs> but that being the case, I never once said that I would not, I didn't support welfare. Welfare is good in a temporary sense, not permanently. Okay, so with that agree. being the case, when we talk... When we, when, when, we talk, when we talk about programs that can help people, I think about people like Dina Blair, someone that I worked with when I was 16 years old and I worked for the Social Security Administration, who only got a job by way of welfare reform in 1996, which allowed you to keep your welfare benefits, also get a job, and then permanently get off the system. 
More programs like that is necessitous in order to move communities of color and otherwise forward. Yeah. So when we're talking about this issue, it's not about handouts, it's about a hand up. Give me an opportunity, allow me to move so I can take care of my family, therefore I'm not dependent on the government to take care of us generation after generation, as we see in Chicago oftentimes happens. And, and that was a Democrat, that was Bill Clinton's but, welfare reform in 1996. But in all fairness, I think and Newt Gingrich, both of them work clear. together. Right. This is not welfare, and and that's the discrepancy. This, this this is whether you make $30,000 a year or whether you make $120,000 a year. So I think we need to be clear That's that this is not... That's government assistance. Okay, but it's not necessarily and, and, and expensive at that. And it's for everyone. It's, it's, right. definitely it's an interesting assistant. topic. They're going to test it out. I don't know who's going to complain about getting 500 bucks a month. I think they're going to have a good approval rating on it. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for coming in this morning. We waste, fraud, it. and abuse is what that causes. Waste, fraud, and abuse. All right. I agree. Waste, fraud, and abuse. Uh, I see Fox News... Uh, that a lot of people are going to want it. Yeah, a lot of people might say, yeah, I could use an extra 500 bucks for nothing, no questions asked. Yeah, everybody could. But is it the right way to go about things? I don't think so. And they've tried it in other countries, this universal basic income that never worked. And uh, basically, I bet you they're going to be funneling that money to illegals anyway. And that's a whole crock that the Democrats are talking about. Uh, uh, who are they going to fund? First of all, they're going to fund the uh, Democrats. Anybody Democrat? So they're mostly illegals. So they're not going to give conservatives the $500 a month. No, they're going to give the Democrats so they can buy votes. That's basically what the Democratic strategy is, you see. Uh, vote for me, so uh, this way you can get 500 bucks a month, okay? So what are the legals going to do? Do you think the legals care about the deficit and what's going to happen to America in the future with all these... Uh, this, these billions of dollars spent on uh, welfare and uh, this is basically a, a welfare, so to speak. Yeah, um, yeah. When they say they're going to give to the people making thirty and one hundred and twenty grand a year, uh, yeah, maybe two out of the one thousand people or whatever. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.